Hello and welcome to Aspen Cooking, my friends. Today we have a special recipe that uh, I found in a very peculiar place. I bought this over at Costco and it's Tone's Italian Seasoning. And what happened was there is that little peeler back that I opened up and I found grilled Sicilian steak marinade recipe. And I was like, you know what, I'll go, I'm going to give it a shot. So I prepped all the ingredients to use. I have olive oil, I have half a cup of red wine, black pepper, that tones down in seasoning, about a tablespoon, maybe half a tablespoon of salt, that's to taste, and I have these filet mignons. Let's get these marinated. Okay, first things first, we're going to get these guys marinated for 30 minutes. That is at least what these, uh, this, this uh, Tones Italian seasoning box is telling me. So, for this I'm going to use this plastic bag. Inside the plastic bag, I'm going to take my salt, toss it inside, black pepper, toss it inside, Italian seasoning also goes in. Let's get this two tablespoons of olive oil. Well, give or take two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to eyeball it. Looks like it's about two tablespoons right there. And our choice of booze for today, red wine. Did not use anything fancy or anything expensive. That's about half a cup right here. Perfect. I'm going to take our tiny filet mignons, toss them in. Super duper tender, super delicious. Let me just show you what it looks like on the inside. Here's what we have. I'm going to try to get rid of some of this air to give you guys a better look at this. Okay, just like that. Mix it in. I'm going to mix it in well. And for 30 minutes, I'm going to put it in a warm place. I don't want to put it in the fridge. I will just let it sit out at the room temperature since we are going to cook them. All right, my friends, while our steaks are marinating right here with this Sicilian style marinade, I decided to make a quick side dish to the steaks. Um, very simple. I bet you will love it. Let me show you how to do this. I'm going to take Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna cut the bottoms off. I'm going to peel a couple of leaves off of them just to make sure that I only keep the fresh and juicy leaves on it. So here's what we have left with. We are left with. So now, cut that baby in half. That is the final product that we're looking for. And uh, now I'm going to do it to all of these babies right here. I know that Brussels sprouts is probably not everybody's favorite because every now and again they would have a bitter taste. But this recipe right here that I'm going to show you will make sure that there is no bitterness to these and uh, they're actually quite tasty and uh, aromatically delicious because um, with a heat treatment that I'm going to show you um, that I'm going to do to make these taste great, all of the bitterness will go away and uh, you guys will be able to taste that simple um, aroma of spices that we will apply and uh, that aroma will be accompanied with just a fresh and crispy taste of the Brussels sprouts themselves. I'm going to dump them in a Ziploc bag. And do just that. Salt and pepper. Olive oil. Drizzle it in. Uh, 
that's it. That's pretty much all of the prep for these babies. I'm going to do the same thing, try to get rid of some air. I want a little bit of air to stay inside. Shake them well, spread that seasoning. Look how vibrant the color becomes as soon as you add a little bit of that olive oil to it. You see that? That's beautiful right here. Okay, okay. 30 minutes have passed. I'm going to show you how I'm going to prep and transfer them over into my cast iron pan right here. So we'll be finishing them with the reverse sear method. What we're going to do is we're going to put the steaks in the oven at a relatively low heat, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to keep them there for a couple of minutes. That will allow the steaks to start cooking through evenly without cold or hot spots. And once that process is complete, we will put them over direct heat and we'll sear the outside. Our oven is at 400 degrees and the steaks are ready to go in. We'll place them in. And I'm going to allow for approximately five to six minutes. Six minutes have passed. Here's what we got. Okie dokie. So, it's time to finish our steaks. We're going to sear them right now at a high temp, about a minute or so on each side. And then we will add a butter and some garlic. I have those prepped right here. Ooh, the smell is uh, quite delicious, actually. So a couple of minutes, well, actually one minute on each side. I'm going to finish searing this baby off. This one is getting some beautiful color in it already. Let's have a look at all of them now. This one is getting some beautiful color. Ooh, all the spices. <laughs> yeah. Smell. Yeah, just like so. Perfect. to make sure we have super aromatic steaks with this nice and buttery finish on top. All this garlic aroma will get up absorbed as well. steaks rest now but all this beautiful and delicious taste I don't want to let it go to waste so I'm going to add a little bit of beer very light amount let it all bubble up and add our Brussels sprouts right in straight from the bag come out but now we're going to finish them off so literally we will allow for three minutes on each side if you can if not you know cook these guys on a high heat, you know, I have, you know, my oven set for 425 or so, 
These guys are telling you keep buying bigger Brussels sprouts, allow for a little bit more time. If they're smaller, for a little bit less. But this heat treatment in our marinade will completely get rid of bitterness if there was any in these. And uh, all of this aroma from steak and uh, a little bit of uh, beer that has deglazed our uh, pan in here will help. Guys, the star of the show is our steak. Look what we got. Sicilian marinade. I was skeptical at first, but given the aroma the steak was producing while I was cooking it, I think it turned out delicious. I'm going to give this guy a try. Of course, I am going to mention the Brussels sprouts. Look at the vibrant color. Look how nicely cooked these guys are. And it's a good pairing. You know, if you don't want any starches and you want just uh, kind of a keto-friendly um, recipe, so you can pair your steak with these Brussels sprouts right here. Let's cut into our steak. Look at the color. I'm gonna turn the main steak towards the camera. Look how juicy everything is. So I was going for this medium rare, and that's exactly what I ended up getting. I'm gonna give this guy a try. Wow. So juicy. Mm. It's like a burst of flavor. The acidity from wine and the aroma from spices really did a good job. Just open up the flavor of the of this uh, steak, our filet mignon. Thumbs really knew what to put onto their box. It turned out to be delicious. Guys, if you like this video, why won't you come back for more? Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.